We want to turn now to the very latest on the coronavirus here in Connecticut. UV light has emerged as a potential coronavirus killer. We have all heard about it being used right now in Connecticut casinos, and the state is exploring whether to put it in schools. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell went to Torrington to learn more about the science behind it. Well, Mark and Aaron, here are the lights right here. Will they actually kill the coronavirus? That's still being studied, but there is definitely an interest all across the state. We're seeing businesses install them. They can also be put in homes as well, and they're quickly becoming one of the most popular products offered at HVAC companies across the state. When it comes to disinfecting schools, it appears officials are turning to the light. Potentially introduce UV light that can help kill the virus. It gets trapped in the filters. UVC light has been in homes and businesses for decades. Bed and breakfasts, hotels, um, they've been very interested in this because um, it, they're mixing air throughout a, a facility and they want to be sure that that air is clean. According to the National Academy of Science, UVC light has the energy to destroy the genetic material inside viruses, meaning it can disinfect. And it's been used in meat packing and vegetable produce and hospitals. Jim Grestis from CNG's Heating and Air Conditioning in Torrington says the demand for this technology has skyrocketed. When things were kind of uh, peaking, we were probably doing three or four a week. UVA and UVB light causes harmful sunburns. UVC light is more powerful than those. In fact, the CDC warns against exposing UVC light to the skin. That's why its power needs to be contained in the ducts, furnaces, or air handling systems of homes or businesses. They're installed strategically so that the air moves more slowly past the lamp and so that, it, and that any contaminants in the air are exposed to that UV light for a longer period of time. While the effectiveness specifically against the coronavirus is still being studied, other studies have shown UVC light destroyed other viruses in hospitals, and officials are hoping it could be a solution to get us safely back to school and work. UVC light was tested on SARS, so it's a similar type of virus, and um, we're waiting for results, you know, more results on, on actual coronavirus. Yeah. Now, these systems start at less than $1,000 and can usually be installed in less than a day. We're here in Torrington tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel Fairness News.